Boy. Welcome back to CNN. I'm your host, Valentina. And I'm your co-host, Eric. On Monday, it is the end of trimester one. On Tuesday, report cards will be sent. On Wednesday, you will be able to make up your pictures. On Thursday, there will be a coffee with the principal. On Friday, it will be dive into reading. See, See you, you back, back in, in the, the studio. studio. Hello, Hello everyone, everyone, and welcome, and welcome back to Staff Interview. Interview. My name is Ruby. And my name is Malaya. Today we have... Mrs. Leonard. Okay. What do you like about working with children? I like that children are eager to learn and that there are so many things, especially like in this area that you guys get to do that we never got to do when I was in school. At this particular school, you guys get to do all kinds of STEM activities. And you know, I like doing those. Do you like doing those? Me too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be? If I could go anywhere in the world, it would be to Greece. I want to see the Parthenon, and I love ancient Greece. Are you in sixth grade yet? Yeah. <laughs> Did you study ancient Greece yet? Not yet. Oh, <laughs> fun. Wait. Can't wait for that. What's your favorite subject to teach? My favorite subject is math. I think math is easy. It's working with numbers, and with numbers you can take and use some type of manipulative and find the answer you're looking for. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Cool Water Dolphins. I'm back with weather for this week. On Monday, it will be 81 plenty of sunshine. On Tuesday, it will be 81 plenty of sunshine. On Wednesday, it will be 70, 79 nice with plenty of sunshine. On Tuesday, it will be 81 sunshine and patchy clouds. Finally, on Friday, it will be 82 clouds and sun. That's all for today, bye. Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the poll question. Don't mind my shirt. Today was costume day. My name is Paulina. And my name is Eric. Thank you to the 109 people who voted for last week's question. In first place was down and in last place was back. This week's poll question is who is the strictest teacher? Is it one Mr. McCann, two Ms. Nance, three Mr. Martinez, or four Ms. Macias? Bye, Bye Clearwater Dolphins. Dolphins. Hello, Clearwater Dolphins, and welcome to this week's Word of the Week. This week's word is astronomy. Can you guess which image ast astronomy shows? Here are your choices. If you pick, oh, <laughs> pick this image, you got it right. Give yourself a cannon opener. <laughs> Bye, and make sure to stay classy, Clearwater Dolphins. Hello, Clearwater Dolphins. I'm back with the lunch menu and breakfast menu, but I'm not going to be doing the breakfast like you guys already know. It's going to be Trey Jr. Go ahead, son. Hello, Clearwater Dolphins. My name is Trey Jr., like you guys know me, and I'm getting older, sadly. Uh, we will be having blueberry waffles on Monday and orange juice and a fresh apple. Uh, um, mm, that, that. That looks pretty delicious to me. Okay, on Tuesday we will have sausage, biscuit, and a banana. <clears throat> on Wednesday we will have a blueberry bagel with cream with good cranberries. And on Thursday we will have a fresh baked pumpkin bre bread and banana orange wedges. Um, on Friday we will have scrambled eggs with bacon toasted English muffin and jelly dried cranberries. Hold on, Clearwater Dolphins. Dad, 
What do you want? Oh, wake up! What do you want? Wake up! It's your turn. Oh, oh, oh that's my turn. Uh, sorry for our dolphins. I was falling asleep. But on Monday, uh, 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 um, all right. Let me go. <coughs> all right, there you go. I'm better. And on Monday, we're going to have barbecue chicken sandwich. And on Tuesday, we'll have pasta and meat sauce, garlic cheese bread. And on Wednesday, we will have bistro sliced pizza. And on Thursday, we'll have hamburger and onion rings. And on Friday, there will be bean and cheese burrito. See you next week, Colorado Dolphins. Hello, Hello Clearwater, Clearwater Dolphins. Dolphins. My name is Yine. And my name is Chris. Welcome, Welcome to, to This, this week, week in History. History. Someone that was born this week is an American actress named Emma Stone. She was famous for her role in The Amazing Spider-Man. A special event that happened this week was... That Barack Obama got elected to become president. He was president for eight years, from 2009 to 2017. Sadly, a death that happened this week was Steve McQueen. Steve McQueen, McQueen was named the King of Cool. He received the Academy Award nomination for his role in the in, for his role in the Sad Pe Sand Pebbles. Bye, Bye Clearwater Dolphins. Dolphins. Hello, Clearwater Dolphins. Dolphins. My name is Ruby. And my name's Christian. Today's question is, Jamil, please. What is the second largest country in the world by land area? It's, it's Canada. Canada. Give, Give yourself, yourself a round, round of applause. applause. My name is Chris. And my name is Sochi. Did you know that when a kangaroo is first born, it is the size of a bean? And on land, kangaroos move their legs together, but in water, they kick each leg independently to swim. That's it this for now, Clear Our Dolphins. dolphins. Bye. Bye. Hey, Clear Water Dolphins. Welcome back to another joke of the week. And, and I promise, it's a good one. How did the pilgrims bring their cows to America? How? Why? On a moo flower. <laughs> Bruh! Hello, to our dolphins. Welcome back to Meme of the Week. My name is Manny, and today's meme is Michael Jordan meme. It started when he gave an emotional speech in 2009. It became a meme, and it's still a meme today, but it is a dead meme today. But that's all for now, to our dolphins. Bye. Hey Colorado Dolphins, my name is Isaac Ortega and welcome back to someone, Someplace You Should Know. This one, Someone You Should Know is, drum roll please, Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss was born on March 2nd, 1904 in Springfield, Massachusetts and graduated from Dartmouth College. His first children's book was, and I think that I saw it on Mulberry Street, under the name of Dr. Seuss in 1937. Sadly, he... On September 24th, 1991, at the age of 87, in La Jolla, California, in 1997. Bye. Hi, my name is Malaya. And I'm Candy. This week's Artist of the Week is Pablo Picasso. Pablo was born on October 25th, 1881. He was known for painting, sculpting, and doing ceramics. He also did printmaking. Sadly, he died from heart failure. Bye, Bye Clearwater Dolphins. Dolphins. And make sure to stay tuned for next week's Artist of the Week. Hello Clearwater Dolphins. Here today we're interviewing Miss Velez. The first question is, what is your favorite subject to teach? To teach. Uh, when I was a teacher in the classroom, I loved teaching math. That was my favorite, favorite subject to teach, especially sixth grade math. Oh, cool. okay. 
If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? Where would I go? I would love, love to go to Iceland. One day, I know I will be going to Iceland because I heard that it's very beautiful there. Question number three, what is your favorite sport? My favorite sport, although I don't play it, is football. I love football, my son plays football, we watch football all the time, and I just love the sport because it's very competitive, you never know what's going to happen, it's very unpredictable, and it's about just persevering and being really smart about the game. If you could meet any person in history, who would it be? You know, I always wanted to meet Maya Angelou because she always had just very uh, kind words of wisdom and advice and I would love to meet her one day. I think Science Camp is such a great experience for students. We get to see them uh, create better friendships uh, and really grow a lot of self-confidence. And then as a teacher, we get to uh, have a lot of fun do some activities and we get our tree cookies. So what things I like about Science Trip was when we did the adventure course. Third will beat us just because they had it on their board, but when we had it we went forward and back and they were still at the beginning. Oh so it was the food. It was the most watery food I tasted in three years. Um two things I liked about Science Camp were when me uh, when we when we were doing archery and then Dylan thought he was a pro but Miss Wilk hit holler shots more than Dylan did. Also, another thing I liked was hiking because our field instructor our field instructor was the best. He would let us do everything, go up high hill, hills, also because nature is beautiful. Two things I liked at science camp were the beads and the cabins. I liked the beads because they were fun to earn. One of these beads would be this pink one, which would be the cleanest cabin. I also liked the cabins because they were warm and they had a lot of space. Well, at least our cabin was. Two things that I liked about my sixth grade science camp was archery and the three hour hike. They were challenging but I got through it. I'm glad I went. I wish I could go right now. Two things that I liked about science camp was archery because I got to use, I got to use a bow and arrow and hiking because I like seeing the views of diff, different mountains. One thing I liked about science camp was um, learning about snakes and touching them. Uh, second thing was probably being with my friends, and one challenging part was hiking for eight miles. Hi, Clearwater Dolphins. Two things I liked at science camp were archery and snakes class. I liked archery because when I shot my first arrow, it went all the way to the back. And another thing I liked was the snake class. I liked snakes class because it was at night and after. We got to go to bed. Overall, I like Science Camp. It was awesome, fun, and a beautiful experience. Hi, Clearwater Dolphins. Two things I liked about Science Camp was hiking. The second day we went hiking was really hard. I think um, we hiked for um, three hours or five. Uh, it was super hard. I fell a lot. The other thing I liked about Science Camp was the food there. We had pancakes, eggs, spaghetti, and never put spice, spicy stuff on the food because it's super hot. Uh, and we had hash browns and more. Hey, we're back. Our random fact of the week is... Roosters have built-in earplugs. Bye, Bye Clearwater Dolphins. Dolphins.